Hey, what's up guys? This is Century Productions and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Series 6 Wolverine. Uh, probably the coolest Wolverine I own of all the 19 bazillion Wolverines that Toy Biz and Hasbro made. I think this is the coolest one. Uh, definitely my favorite costume that Wolverine has worn, especially as a figure. This is when he was training as a samurai in Japan. Um, which is why it came with uh, this that base that he came with. He came with a base which was actually the same base that came with Elektra, except it came with uh, Ogun, who was a guy sitting on front of it, and it came with a sword. Um, I forget what the sword's name was, but I'm not going to be reviewing the base, just the figure, or the, and, and not the sword either. Uh, but definitely my favorite Wolverine. Uh, you, my favorite Wolverine used to actually be the Astonishing Wolverine, but not anymore. So, um, you know, coming from Series 6, which is an extremely strong series, I mean, this is the same series you got Deadpool, same series you got uh, Juggernaut in, uh, Phoenix, you know. It's a really strong wave. Probably the, the uh, most recognized Marvel Legends wave was Series 6. And this figure was pretty hard to come by from what, I, um, what I've heard in the past, but definitely one of the coolest figures I've, I've handled. So he is used, you know, utilizing that that Wolverine body mold that you have seen on some other figures, uh, like the 25th anniversary Silver variant Wolverine, and the Red Hulk wave Wolverine. So very cool. You know, there's not very many paint applications on this figure, um, other than the arms where the veins are, and uh, some some brown. Nothing really on the inner legs or anything like that. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward figure, and I think he is one of the best um, action figures I've ever owned. So for articulation, really quick, his head does go up and down, side to side. Standard Toy Biz articulation. He does have that inside arm joint, which allows the arm to extend further back uh, more than usual. So back and forth. Uh, it has a ball joint at the top of the arm, up and down front and back. I haven't um, handled this figure that much so um, just excuse the tightness of these joints. Um, upward bicep swivel right there. Very crucial. Double jointed elbows. Very cool. Uh, I wish they wouldn't have angled his wrist at that such a slant but I guess that's what to counteract the, the claws or something like that so I don't know why they did that but uh, it, it's working for me, so it does have a swivel at the wrist. As you can see, my claws are extremely bent. I did try to straighten them using a couple tricks, but it didn't work out. So I'm just going to leave it be. But yeah, uh, the hand also has some articulation. As you can see right there. Um, it does have chest articulation, which is like on a swivel type thing, which goes front and back. No, side to side waist articulation you can see the muscle definition very cool and this figure is pretty short here's the series 3 Wolverine so series 3 Wolverine is a little bit taller than him and this was probably the average 6 inch figure so it's a little size comparison you can see right there the claws are done with just a straight silver. There's some overlapping onto the brown glove right there, some of the silver paint. Not a big deal, but you know, you got the hair on his arm. Very nice touch. I think this is really awesome. You also got the green veins on his arm, you know, very similar to the Juggernaut variant, if I believe, from the same series. So you can see where they were going with that. And then you even got some of the costume paint running onto the shoulder which is where you know he has this little cuff on the shoulder so instead of actually adding cuffs like they did in the Red Hulk Wolverine I believe they just painted them on which you know doesn't hinder the articulation in any way so very cool that they did that you get the the lines traveling through right there to, to, to symbolize where his shoulder cuff thing would be very cool got two ball joints at the uh, upper leg so that allows it to go forward and back side to side kind of a little fragile not really too much but 
I like to, you know, be very careful when I'm handling, especially a figure like this, you know, it's a pretty rare figure and it's really expensive to buy a new one, so I'm not really going to be messing with this figure too much, strictly for display purposes and reviewing, of course. Uh, double jointed knees, and you got all of uh, the information on the inside thigh right there, 2004 Marvel Entertainment Toy Biz, very important. And then we got his legs with his uh, recognizable um, ankle things that are popping out right there, very cool. And then we got the boots, just do a 360 rotation, and then you can actually line them up so they're in the, the correct position you know you don't want them angling off or anything like that very cool um, you know Chardon is Prime's favorite joint or most important joint you know ankle pivot very crucial especially for uh, you know posing this Wolverine um, toe articulation and ankle articulation and you know you also got that joint right there so I mean this thing is loaded to the brim with articulation not very much you know paint applications on it's pretty straightforward you know straight brown straight skin color you know you do have the the hair on the arms which does give it you know sets it uh, apart from the other figures but uh, other than that it's pretty straightforward but it's just a badass figure man you gotta have it so I definitely recommend the uh, series 6 Wolverine Marvel Legends figure go try to find him pick him up uh, and uh, this is Century Productions and I'll catch you guys later peace